I'm pleased to introduce the man who, along with his partner David Blitzer, took over this franchise four years ago and has brought in key executives in hockey and in business to lead a transition with the organization, the City of Newark, and of course the surrounding areas. Please welcome managing partner Josh Harris. So good morning, exciting day, exciting weekend for the Devils, um, transformational. Um, <clears throat> so we've spoken a lot about all the great things going on off the ice with uh, Coach Hines and Ray and s scouting, but really it's, it's players, it's ta elite talent that wins cups on the ice. And so as such, I'd like to very much extend a warm welcome from my family, the Harris family, but also the Devils family, to Jack and his family, we're incredibly excited that you're here. Thank you, thank you for being here. Um, Jack joining the franchise uh, represents uh, another turning point in our goal of being elite. And we've said that, uh, you know, we're not here to do anything other than consistently compete and ultimately win the Stanley Cup. Um, you know, we've done a lot of things. We put a lot of building blocks in place. You look over there, you see Will and Corey. Um, now with Jack, uh, PK, um, Taylor, Nico, uh, and, and our young core. And so it's incredibly exciting today to be uh, part of the Devils family, to be a fan. I mean, I was really gratified to see I think it was like 9,000 people screaming and going crazy when we picked Jack. It's a testament to how much uh, they care and, and, and New Jersey cares. And look, Devils fans, they're used to winning Stanley Cups. I mean, we all got to live up to it, So, starting with me. So uh, in any case, um, I personally can't wait for the season to start. And I look forward to working with a huge family. Jack and you and providing everything that you need to be the best that you can be. We have a lot of confidence that you're going to help us get it done. Thank you. Ownership is paramount in, in anything, but especially in professional sports. Harris Blitzer, Sports Entertainment, as you can see, very invested in the team, very invested in the community, in the franchise, and in the success. And as touched upon, when you have uh, people in the in the organization in different capacities that crave success, that are committed to success, many that have had success, uh, led of course by, by Marty and Dano in the front and having won Stanley Cups, uh, that's that's really infectious and that really does become the standard. So uh, with that, I'd also like to welcome to the stage the architect, the man that's done an outstanding job of rebuilding this franchise, reestablishing this franchise, and who really had the heads of Devils fans and NHL fans spinning this last little while. He's a Stanley Cup winner himself. He's grown up in the game. He's had a, a lot of influence in terms of drafting players of value, like a Jesper Bratt as a sixth round pick who made the team as an 18, 19 year old. Uh, and Patrick Hornquist, Pekka Rene in Nashville. I mean, I can go on and on. Many of the greats that have played the game, but now at this point, he's the man at the helm for the New Jersey Devils, Ray Shiro. Thanks, Kevin, and uh, thank you everybody for being here today, and uh, thank you for our staff. This is an exciting day, uh, exciting weekend, and first and foremost, um, going back to April 9th, that um, kind of winning the lottery one more time, that was good. Um, but I think this has been for me for four years, I've been here, a culmination of what we've talked about uh, with Josh and David. Uh, our managing partners are make this happen, and um, you know, it's hard not to get impatient along the way. Um, but they've, you know, we kind of knew after winning a lot here on April 9th that there was opportunity here. And uh, the weekend was a lot, a lot of hard work with a lot of people to, to do those things. And adding, obviously, a talent like Jack Hughes um, on Friday night. And then on Saturday, P.K. Subban, obviously, I think the Devils are back in business. And um, I also want to welcome Jim and Ellen Hughes, who I've known for a long time. Jimmy at Providence College and Ellen, uh, University of New Hampshire. And uh, their extended family. And we're going to have a lot of support here. And, um, when I was over at the U18s, I, I told Jim and Alan that um, I'll, I can only promise one thing. If I did select your son, the same thing I told Nico's parents, we'll take care of him. And we're going to do that, and uh, we got support. Um, it, Jack didn't know we were going to select him until I 
after 11 minute introduction, I selected him. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, I said I was going to try to get a plug in for Marty's Enterprise Rent a Car, but uh, <laughs> ran out of time. Sorry, buddy. And um, when we finally made up our mind so that we're going to take Jack, it was actually about a week earlier, probably, because I read Ken Danico's tweet that the devils have got to take Jack Hughes, and I figured that's good enough for me. <laughs> This is, um, again, this is really exciting for our franchise, and this is why the people that work for the Devils, it's an exciting place to work. I, I said this, and I said this um, a number of years ago, that this, was, this is going to turn, and I know it, and it's turned, and um, it did a couple years ago, but I, uh, through, with Josh and David and their leadership, and you, Weber, who's been fantastic to work with, and Coach Hines, obviously, John and I go back, and um, again, exciting days here, but I really think that without further ado, let's watch them. Highlights of Jack's whirlwind weekend. With the first pick overall, the New Jersey Devils are brought to select from the U.S. program, Jack Hughes. That's got to be one of Jack's cousins. <laughs> That's great. Um, as I was saying, just April 9th, um, April 8th, actually, we had our, our uh, season any press conference and media availability, and, and we all said we, we needed more talent. And, and Josh and David, um, obviously, as a part of it, we didn't know the next day that we'd go from number three to number one. And when that car turned over, how I felt, how everybody here felt, how exciting that was. And um, this is a special day because um, we're welcoming Jack Hughes to the Devils family, first overall pick in the 2019 draft. And um, without further ado, I'd like to make Jack Hughes officially a New Jersey Devil and um, unveil his jersey number and his Devils jersey. Jack Hughes. This is only his training camp number. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This is real numbers. <clears throat> we can start selling them. <laughs> yeah, those are going to sell like hotcakes. Yep. <laughs> They'll be uh, obviously available here at the team store on NHL.com and at the league store in New York. Those are going to be flying off the shelves. Um, Jack, I got a couple questions for you. Since we've got our captive audience not only here in attendance, but as I mentioned, around the world. What has it been like for you? We had a chance to speak and we had you on set on the NHL Network during the Stanley Cup Final in St. Louis. What has this whole last month been like for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's been a wild month. You kind of you dream of uh, being in my position. It's, it's an unbelievable position to be in. Um, I'm so thankful to be a part of the Devils organization. I mean, I've, I've been dreaming of going first overall for, for my whole life, really. And when the moment happens, I mean, the emotions that, that kind of flow through your body, it's, you, uh, I mean, you can't really put it into words. It's so different than what you dreamed of. It's such a surreal feeling and uh, it's unbelievable. So, I mean, that night was awesome. Great to celebrate with friends and family um, this past weekend. And once I got to the New Jersey area, it's, it's been a whirlwind of a tour, kind of just uh, going from place to place, having a lot of fun. So um, I've been lucky to be with Pete, Nick, some great people. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. I'm really excited to be a devil. One thing that was pretty interesting and great and I, when I talked about the investment of uh, Harris Blitzer Sports Entertainment in the team and in the players, 
no big deal. They had the private jet waiting for you and you talked about it. It was awesome. Because that's the way you do it. You got to do things properly in the NHL, right? And I see Marty and, and Dan are like, yeah, well, that's how, that's how we do it. But I'm going to ask you, I saw your comments, it was amazing. But uh, what your thoughts were when they sent the jet for you and the family to come back from Vancouver all the way back across the uh, continent, back here to Jersey? Yeah, I mean, I was um, just hoping for a window seat, maybe. <laughs> On the, on the commercial, but uh, I mean, the, the PJ is pretty nice. It was uh, awesome for me and the family to get on that. It was, it was a pretty easy flight. Sweet. We just lived down the street from Teterboro, so I totally get it. Uh, <laughs> nonetheless, though, I know that you talked about yourself. First of all, you're all Jack Hughes, and that's what's most important. But of course, as, as a young player, as any young players, we grew up and we watch players and we see some of their traits. And I know that you've been uh, really effusive in your praise of. Patrick Kane, the great Patrick Kane and Barzell, uh, who was rookie of the year two years ago. And you say that you have some of their elements in your game, but you play your own style. So maybe you could speak to that for the for our audience here. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm Jack Hughes. I'm not going to try to be Patrick Kane or Matt Barzell or anyone. Uh, I want to have my own flavor, my own, my own excitement to my game. I want the fans to kind of want to be Jack Hughes. Um, I mean, the way I want to be a Patrick Kane or Sidney Crosby, so... I think talking about my game, I'm obviously not the biggest guy if you're looking up here, but um, <laughs> the way I skate and uh, try to take things from Kaner's game, like his poise, um, how he attacks off the rush, how he's uh, so poised, always like, kind of puck on a string, um, can attack off the rush, pull up, delay games. And Barzell's obviously a guy that can carve through the neutral zone, um, maneuver around defensemen, like, kind of love lug the puck more than a guy like Kane does. So, I mean, I think um, a mix of those two players is kind of a pretty good player, I guess, if you, uh, if you put them together. So <laughs> I uh, try to play like those two a little bit. But like I said, I want to be Jack Hughes. I want to be unique and creative. And uh, I want to be an exciting and fun player to watch for a lot of years to come. And being a unique and creative player, you played in different ranks. You played at different levels. So whether you're playing... Uh, over in Sweden, or whether you're playing in Slovakia for the men's worlds, or UNDP, you're in Plymouth, you're playing at Cheswood Arena back in Toronto, for an example. One thing that's real important to you is family, and they've been a big part of your success. So maybe you can speak to just the impact that family has had on you, uh, not only on the ice, but also off the ice. Yeah, you uh, walk into Cheswood on a Friday night, it's a battle. Um, so, I mean, I can't thank my parents enough for. For all the sacrifices they've made for us, I mean, um, my mom and dad, they take us from rink to rink, um, day in, day out. I mean, having three boys is pretty crazy. And all three of us playing pretty high-level hockey. And, um, I mean, they had such an invested interest in us. I mean, it was awesome because hockey's kind of a passion we all share. We all love the game so much. So, uh, I mean, for them to dedicate so much time to me and be able to put me in the position I am today. I can't thank him enough. Something that's pretty unique for uh, people that have earned it, yourself being a number one overall pick, uh, some of the stars that we have here in attendance, guys that have been stars that are stars in their careers, um, you have the opportunity to interface and spend time with ownership and with management. With that, what has that been like for you so far in terms of what they've communi communicated to you? <laughs> in terms of the vision for the Devils, where you are now and where they foresee this franchise going? Yeah, um, I mean, the one thing I've really noticed with the Devils is how it's kind of a family. Um, I mean, everyone I've interacted with here and over the last couple of months has been a, a really good person, first of all. I mean, they might be a great hockey mind and a great, a great ambassador of hockey, but uh, everyone I've met has been a really good person so far, which is awesome. Obviously, the Devils organization is a, a really rich history and a really, really, really good or organization. So um, to be able to play in front of these people and and, uh, and kind of work for work for and play for uh, the people that work in the office and, and in management, I'm, I'm really excited to do that for a lot of years to come. When you talk about team, uh, two last questions for you, but one, when you talk about team and why team's so important, I know speaking to Taylor Hall last year at NHL Awards, the morning of the breakfast, the morning of awards, he said without Nico Heischer, he would not have been the NHL MVP last year. And that says a lot. So being a creative player yourself, being a highly skilled player, a dynamic player, 
maybe you could talk about how and why your teammates and the staff are so important to having success. Yeah, um, I mean, hockey's a team sport. You need 20, 20 great players to win. Um, for me this year, I was so lucky to be a part of such a, such a great team at the NTDP. Um, if you're watching the draft, eight, eight first round kids, 16 of us drafted. Uh, and then, I mean, our coaches did such a good job with us. Was, I was blessed to be uh, with such a great group of guys and players. And then, I mean, I think uh, hockey's a really humbling sport. It's not a sport where it's a me sport, it's a we sport. So, I mean, for, for me and for every other hockey player, it's, it's always the team over yourself. So, I mean, this, is, uh, this has been awesome, the, the Jack Hughes tour kind of, but... I'm uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of excited to get it over to, over with and kind of a, become a part of the Devils here. So uh, I mean it's a it's a team sport and I don't think any of us could do it without our team. A lot of girls and boys aspire to play at a higher level. Girls hockey participation continues to rise uh, at a real real high level across the United States. Extremely important. And for a lot of the guys that play and aspire, hey, I want to play in the NHL, or young girls that say, I want to play in the Olympics with Kendall Coyne, or, and have those types of aspirations, what's the one piece of advice that you'd give to a lot of them? Because many of them will be tuned in here uh, but by way of watching online and on social, and they want to hear what Jack Hughes has to say, a little secret to your success that you can share with them. Um, I mean, I think the big thing for me is when you're, when you're eight years old, don't be, oh, I want to play in the NHL. I think... Uh, best thing to do is kind of just go to the game love 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 putting on your skates love having fun love uh, love scoring goals love doing toe drags even if your coach tells you not to <laughs> I mean it's, it's all about the love of the game I think uh, as you get older you'll your, your dreams maybe will come a reality and you kind of want to hunker in on that but uh, as a young kid as a young boy and girl just just love the game and appreciate it so much because uh at any moment, it can be taken away. So, I mean, love the game and enjoy it every time you put your gear on. Great stuff. At this point, we'd like to open the floor for questions. Uh, if the media could raise your hands, or any staff members for that matter, and just wait for the microphone. Paige and Nick will have the microphones for you. So, please don't be shy. Be respectful. Fire away. Hey, Jack. Congratulations, and uh, best of luck to you as you move up on your career. Um, I'm just curious, Jack, these last couple of days, the three days here in New Jersey, can you just tell us maybe some of the special moments, special memories you had of this tour of New Jersey? Yeah, so um, got to know Mr. Harris at the draft a little bit. Um, on, uh, on Sunday night, got to go, got to, go to dinner with uh, Marty and Mr. Blitzer and his wife, so uh, got to know them and then a lot of uh, a lot of media over the last couple of days, and then uh, got to go to the Yankees game last last night. Pretty cool. Some guy named Adam Sandler walked in, <laughs> and, uh, and Reggie Jackson. So got to uh, got to uh, talk to them for probably 30 minutes, sit with them. And it was it was really cool to meet meet people like that. I mean, so grounded. Um, it's pretty funny because Adam Sandler was. Just the way he was in the movies, man. I thought <laughs> I thought I was in like Grown Ups or something. <laughs> it was it was a lot of fun, and I'm uh, I'm really thankful for the Devils the Devils for setting that up for me. No, it was fun for me and my dad being Yankee fans. So that was a, that was an awesome night. Uh, one more, Jack. Uh, what do you think will be the biggest on ice challenge for you entering you know this season, and and how will you meet that challenge? Um, I mean, I'm 18 years old. I think the uh, playing against men in an 82-game schedule is going to be difficult. But, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping to have a great summer so I can be ready to go come next year. Uh, I know it's a long season. I know it's, I know it's a, a lot of travel. Um, but I'm really excited for it. This is what I've dreamed of for so many years now. I've worked for this moment. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited for the challenge. That's when my competitive spirit takes over. And, I'm just so pumped up to be able to play for the Devils next year. Jack, I've got two for you. Number one, easy. Why, why 86? Um, well, I mean, Greener is number six, obviously. So uh, <laughs> probably not the best start if I ask the captain to chase the <laughs> <laughs> I think that um, 
And then 86, I wore that in my, my two years of minor midget. I think it's a pretty cool number. It's, it's a high number, so uh, a little flashy, but it's, it's nice. It's a nice number. <laughs> And second part, you talk about your mom uh, and teaching you how to skate. You told the story about about her influence on your game. Yeah, well, my dad was uh, my dad was coaching all those years, so he was on the road a lot, and uh, my, my mom bringing us down to our rinks, teaching us how to skate. Um, so I mean, I credit that to her. Uh, I mean, probably not my dad for the for the skating, but uh, I mean, it was uh, it was awesome. She was she was always taking us to, taking us to the rink. Um, teaching us how to skate, throwing pucks in the air, so I was chasing them. So uh, it was awesome, and I can't thank her enough. Anybody else? Thanks. Thank you. I believe at the draft you said you hadn't spent too much time in New Jersey. Have you been able to, or have you spent any time in New York City in the past? And just what are your sort of overall impressions of the area and what you want to learn about the area? Yeah, so uh, I have family in the area. Um, cousins, my grandpa live live in uh, Long Island, and uh, family here who lives in Westchester. So uh, I knew a little bit about the area. My dad growing up in uh, Hicksville, Long Island. So I mean, uh, for me, it's 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 nice to be back on the East Coast. I think with a with a lot of family here, and got to uh, spend some time in Hoboken and Jersey City. Um, I mean, I didn't know much about the state of New Jersey. So, I mean, before coming here, I didn't know much, but uh, I know I'm really excited to live here for a lot of years because it's got uh, great people and it's a uh, really beautiful state. Does it give you some comfort level to have some family close by? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously, it's nice to have family around. Um, and I think as time comes, I'll, I'll, find my, I'll find my way. I'll make some really good friends here. Um, playing for the Devils, it's going to be really busy. But... Um, I mean, I'm really excited to come to New Jersey. It's a uh, an awesome spot to play. Between going to Europe for a month and a half, the draft, you really have that time to breathe. What do you do now that it's all kind of over? You know what you're going to be doing and getting ready for October. Yeah, I mean, it's a uh, it's a quick turnaround. Flying to Toronto tonight and training in the morning. So uh, for me, I've I've lost a lot of time going over to Men's World. So that was kind of my break time. So uh, for me, it was. It was a good couple of days celebrating at the draft with uh, friends and family, having a, a, a good time there, um, seeing them. So, I mean, for now, it's, for me, it's uh, it's time to get to work now. And I'm excited for that. I'm, I'm ready to go and hungry to get to work for for the for the training camp coming up and the dev camp next within the next two weeks. So, uh, for me, I'm getting right after and I'm excited. Josh, just for you, uh, over the course of the weekend, having Jack and then PK and a lot of excitement building around the franchise, I mean, what did that for you on a personal level to see so many eyes on your franchise right now? Yeah, so it's incredibly exciting. It's a, um, you know, it's what I've been thinking about and planning for. I mean, Ray and I got to know each other really, really well, maybe too well. No, I'm kidding. I love Ray. We spent a lot of time together. Uh, you know, the call for, uh, you know, obviously we were, you know, at the table together and, you know, celebrating uh, the Jack, you, you know, getting Jack. And then, um, you know, I was having, you know, Ray was wheeling and dealing and uh, we were starting to lose steam. And I happened to, we were sort of fretting and having coffee on Saturday morning. And then the, the great call came in about PK. Uh, but for me, it's really exciting. I mean, you know, what I, I really do this. Uh, for I, I, for the fans and to you know make the New Jersey and make my family and make the Devils organization proud, right? And so like we've been planning for this moment for a while. Um, great players don't grow on trees; they just don't. So uh, being able to um, you know to receive to get a little lucky and receive the number one pick and then kind of be opportunistic around PK. And, uh, Ray's great job with Taylor a while back and all the things that have been going on that like we've been waiting to emerge and I think we're now emerging and uh, we want to make it happen for, for the fans of the state of New Jersey.
Jack, what are your expectations for this year? Do you expect to be here? Do you expect to contribute early? Do you think it will take time? Um, I mean, I'm not oblivious to the fact that I'm going to play in the NHL, the best league in the world. Um, but the competitive side of me, I want to come out of the gates fast and I want to have a really good start. Um, but like I said, it's the NHL. And on a team standpoint, it's uh, it's really exciting. Um, I'm, I'm pumped to join the team. And obviously, uh, getting getting PK is, is pretty exciting too. Like a guy that's won Norris's gold medals, been in some huge moments. Uh, so, I mean, I'm really excited. And I think the team should do really well. Hi, Jack. Welcome to Jersey. Um, so I know you're hitting the ground running and starting to train right away, but you also do train with Taylor Hall. So I just want to ask, what kind of benefit will that be for you to continue training with your now team? Yeah, it'll be good. Get to know him a little bit more. Um, I think that's the biggest part of me. I know I know he, who he is as a player, but uh, getting to know him as a person and getting more comfortable with him come, uh, come September, it'll be really good to get to know him this summer. Jack, in, in the last 20 minutes or so, we, we've heard Josh say, great players don't grow on trees. I expect you to help the organization. Ray said, you're the last piece or one of the last pieces. I mean, are you feeling any pressure? I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> are you feeling any pressure? No, I think um, there's no pressure for me. I, kind of living the dream right now. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of the Devils. There's no pressure for me. I think uh, there's a guy like P.K. Subban there, Taylor Hall, who's won the MVP, um, Schneids, who's been an unbelievable goalie in the league for a lot of years, and Nico, first overall pick. So, I mean, I'm not the only good player on their team. There's a lot of great players, and uh, I mean, I don't think there's any pressure coming in. I think... Uh, we're, we're all really excited for, for next year going, and uh, I think the team should be pretty good.